Hello guys, how are you? In this video, we're gonna just to solve some questions about how to name and draw organic compounds. Especially, we're gonna start with the hydrocarbons, alkanes. As a start, let's start with this one. As you can see here, we have four. First, we have to find the longest chain, which is one. So we have four carbon atoms, so it will be butane. Because we have, so but because we have four carbon atoms, and A and E, because we, have, we are talking about alkane. Now, the second step, we have to start numbering the carbon atoms, so we start from here, one, two, three, four. But notice that here, the branch here will have the number three. But if we start counting from this side, one, two, three, four, the branch will take number two. So this is wrong and we will follow this order. So at the second carbon atom we have one carbon atom, and we see that one carbon atom means that we are talking about meth. So we have two dash methyl butane. And remember when we said that the isomer of this one is this compound, We said that this one is not an isomer for this compound. They are the same. Why? Because when we just flip this one aside to the other side, we will have the same compound. So if we're going to name this compound here, we have, we have a butane also. And we have methyl. But here we have to start numbering carbon atoms from this side. One, two, three, four. Not from this side as the first compound here. So as you can see, both of them have the same name. So they are not isomers. They are the same compound. Okay. Let's take another example. What about this compound? We have one, two, three, four, five. This is the longest chain. So we have pent. And because all of the bonds here are single bonds, so it will be an alkane. So it is pentane. Now we have two branches. We have one here and one here. And both of them are methyl. And because we have two, so we have di methyl. Now, where is the location of the dimethyl? If we start numbering from the side, one, two, three. So the, 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 the closest one will be two. One, two, three, four, five. But we start talking, numbering from here, we will have one, two, three so the first branch will come at the three so we have to start from here to give the branch the lowest number as we can so we have two three and guys here we have to know that between numbers we use comma so two comma three and between the number and letter we have we use dash so two three dash dimethyl pentane Okay, guys, another example. What if we have this compound? It means, as we said before, that we have C here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And here, and here, and 
and so on. Each stop or an angle means that we have C. And already we have to know that this C contains three hydrogen atoms. And this one bonded with two hydrogens, two hydrogens. This one is already forming three bonds. So it have only one H. You have to know that each carbon atom should, <coughs> sorry, each carbon atom should make or form four bonds. So we count the bonds around carbon atoms and complete the number to four with hydrogen atoms. So, first we have to find the longest chain. We have one, two, three, four, five. Or, one, two, three, four, five. We can't go back because the chain is finished. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or one, two, three, four, five. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here, we have seven carbon atoms here. And we have seven carbon atoms here. And you have to know that if you took this chain or if you took this one you will have the same name i'm going to take this one and you try to solve the other chain and be sure that you will have the same name so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven carbon atoms, which means that we have hept. Hept because we have seven carbon atoms. All of the bonds are single bonds. So we have A, N, E. So we have heptane. Now, numbering. One, two, three, four. The first branch will take four. So it is so far. So we have to start it from this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember, we have a branch here and another branch here. So at the three, we have ethyl. Because we have two carbon atoms. And at four, we have methyl. In this case, guys, we have to add methyl and ethyl to the mother name, and we have to arrange them alphabetically. So ethyl, E is before M in methyl. So we will have ethyl, and the number of ethyl is a three. So we have, let me write it down here. So we have three dash ethyl dash four the location of the methyl dash methyl heptane. This is the name of the compound. Three ethyl, four methyl heptane. We arrange them alphabetically and give the each group with the number of the carbon atoms that the group is located at now what if we have now the name of the compound and we're going to draw it what if we have two three die methyl Now we have the name and we are going to draw it. Now, pentane means A and E single bonds, and pent means we have five carbon atoms. So, one, two, three, four, five. And we have dimethyl. Now here it is easier for you because you can start numbering from any side you like. For example, if you like to start the numbers from here, one, two, three, four, 
5 so at 2 and 3 you have methyl here C and because you have dimethyl we have also C here so this is the name of the compound and you know if you draw if you draw it like this it is also the same so it doesn't matter if you add the carbon atoms here to add the upside or at the downside or even if you draw it like this it is the same it will have always the same name or if you start from here you can add one here and one here and a certain money from this side you will have also the same now what if I give you two ethyl four four di methyl Now, what's wrong with this name? And what's wrong with this compound? And if there is any wrong with this compound, what is the right name for the compound? Let's try first to draw it. Propane means we have one, two, three carbon atoms. Okay, we have four, four. Because propane is only four is only sorry three carbon atoms so how come that we have four four so this is wrong because there is no such compound this is the first part let's change the name here and take another example and make it butane okay butane we have one two three four now the name saying four four dimethyl so here and two ethyl so here we start numbering from here one two three four at two i have ethyl so c c and at four four we have dimethyl so i have c here and c here also Okay, we draw the compound as the name saying. But if we look at the compound and we try to count the chains, we will find that one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. We have longest chain than butane. So the name of the compound is wrong. So we have to rewrite the name of the compound another time. And we have to count the longest chain. One, two. Notice that this one here, it is not a branch. Because it is at the last carbon atoms. And this one is not a branch. If we take this one as a chain, this will be a continuous chain. This one will be, will be a branch. Or we can talk this one as the longest chain. So in this case, this one will be a branch. But neither this nor this are the same in the longest chain. Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So the longest chain here is this one. Now you can take this carbon or this carbon and the other will be a branch. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here we are talking guys about Now, we have to start, I think it's clear that we have to start counting from this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Notice, guys, that we are numbering and counting the carbon atoms inside the chain. So at two, we have methyl. And at four, we have methyl. So we have two 
for die mission to for die mission hexing and this is the name of this compound this is all for our lesson today. Thank you guys and be safe.